going on hello libra welcome to my uh channel i got messages for you these messages may or may not resonate libra okay so when i came and plopped my juicy ass right down here for y'all reading right fake friend came out so a fake friend could be trying to run away from a situation now um uh, maybe something is hitting the fan with this fake friend um something here about somebody possibly keeping a secret from you or some type of secret is somebody's keeping a secret. This could be a fake friend of yours or this could be a fake friend of somebody's. I don't know. All right. But something has to do with a fake friend. All right. So let's see. What is the message for Libra? Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell so you will not miss any of my videos. And thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all, Libra. Y'all know, you know, y'all really, really fuck with me you know what i mean not just because i got a leap horizon but i feel like i can relate to you guys too um yeah i just really really appreciate the love that you leapers give me man like i really do on some real shit i really appreciate it so but maybe you could be finding out that somebody who thought the grass was greener the grass is not green now nah, it's the wrong time somebody made um made a wrong decision or there's someone here that could be jealous or they felt like somebody was the better option this could be a fake friend Okay, so you possibly about to receive a text message from someone. Okay, this could be someone here that possibly wants to joke with you, talk to you, but your spirit guides are urging you to run away. Somebody could have been running away after not using some type of sexual protection. Now there's something unexpected here popping up. Or somebody here is seeing something unexpected. This could be something shocking about this envious person breaking up because they're in their feelings that they should have used a condom. So now somebody's saying that they hate nothing about you, Libra. All right. If somebody wants to invite you to go out, do what you do. All right. But there's a shady person here. Or you could be into something with a shady person. Okay. So what is the messages here for my Libras? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and the North Node. What's coming to them? What can they be expecting? What do they need to know? Mm. Somebody is ooh, we whoever this is, they're going through it in this toxic relationship. They fighting. Hopefully, you're not fighting with nobody, Libra. You too pretty for that. You know. I hope you're not letting nobody put their hands on you. Libra. Get the fuck out of there. Alright. Let's see, Libras. Alright, envy is coming out heavy. Somebody's really, really envious of you. Like, this person, like, okay, so the thing is, like, when it comes to, like, envy, which one would you rather be? Would you rather be envious or jealous? Envy, to me, is, like, somebody that would do whatever they can to see you, like, fail. Jealous? I wouldn't rather be none, none of them. Somebody doesn't want to hear it, okay? Whoever this is that has romantic feelings, they're like, I do not want to hear shit. Ain't no money in a bank account. We have recording. So, there was some type of recording, announcement, expression. So, somebody here revealing something. Whoever this is, this envious person. This could be about somebody here on drugs or maybe somebody was on camera like... Somebody possibly was on camera snorting coke. Somebody was on camera popping pills. Somebody was snorting pills. That's what I'm hearing. So somebody crushes up pills and they snort them. Look at the crushed pills in there, Libra. Somebody crushes up pills and snort them. And I, and I feel like somebody here has this on tape or they have some type of uh, record of somebody doing this. And they about ready to like pop pop out with this shit. Like, because this is like an energy that be like swearing they don't do drugs. They swear they don't, you know. <laughs> I mean, if you did, that's in your past. You know what I'm saying? But... Somebody has something on footage of somebody doing some drugs. Could be an ex-lover. But anyway, what's next, Libra? We have don't want to hear. So somebody do want to hear it. They do want to hear the gossip. They do want to hear the... Yeah, there's an investigation going on. Somebody could be looking through somebody's text messages. They call log. When it has to do with, like, communication, phone call here. They're investigating somebody's phone or who you could be texting or whatever this is. Or somebody wants to know who you've been sleeping with. Somebody could be all in your business. Give me one more card. 
keeping it a secret. Somebody's pregnant and they on drugs. Or either somebody here, this could be a copycat that's pregnant that's on drugs. They're trying to burn their evidence of their involvement in something here. Either they could be trying to burn their evidence of them envying you or they're trying to burn their evidence of some type of recording. Because when you look at the recording, look, it's burnt up, Libra. It's to shreds. Somebody's trying to burn their involvement in whatever this is that they have. Announcement, a recording. This shit is just like, it's burnt up. Or this could be, yeah, somebody's burning something, okay? Somebody's keeping it a secret that they could be pregnant as well. So if somebody's keeping a pregnancy, they're keeping it a secret that they're on drugs. But I feel like this is about to come out with the tower energy. Okay, Scorpio. Somebody's unsure uh if they're pregnant or not so a copycat could be burning evidence i feel like you're emotionally intelligent or you knew when to take some type of trash out or you knew when to get rid of a situation to toss it i feel like there's an energy that could be gaining up the courage to want to reconcile because they miss you or they want to get back together this person will want to give you a love offer engagement or propose to you but there's some type of mass here this is a hidden motive somebody's concealing something here that you need to pay attention about with this friend Okay, so a friend could be keeping a promise, okay, to not share somebody's bad choices or their promiscuous behavior here. Yeah, about what this man did at a party because they're pissed. This man is pissed about this party, the celebration of what they did to, at a party. Because I'm getting they want to date you and they want to fight for what they love or who they love, but they claim it was yours or this person wants to claim you. Mm. but something here is still an illusion here okay libra i don't know like i'm really feeling like um somebody here is really really envious of you okay let's see for libra for libra somebody could be envious of your side hustle what you do it could be watching you off of secret accounts, secret accounts hating on you. I just I would rather not deal with no envious person because like when you deal with an envious person, like you gotta watch out for people like that. They be trying to like ruin you. Let's see. Libra. Queen D is sideways. So somebody here is like irritated because of your confidence this could be someone here that's not as confident. They're not career focused, they're not a boss. They could be um whatever you do for work they're very um i feel like here like how you take care of yourself this is like my nine of pentacles card this queen b card this is like how you dress how you take care of yourself all the way down to like um how you wear your hair you know what i mean i feel like you crown yourself here with this queen b um and there's someone here that's envious of it because you are career focused you're confident or you're just very secure within yourself libra yeah so there's some announcement here. Yeah. A police could be watching someone. <laughs> or a police is about something is about to be shocking. Yeah, let's see what recording is. Announcement expression. Sweet talk. Somebody cannot sweet talk you. Or they think they can. Don't want to hear it. Yeah, because I feel like you see somebody's true colors. This person did not move on. They did not let you go at all. But they could have been keeping something a secret here about this betrayal, pain, deception, mind games, love bombing. They're keeping it a secret. And there's a secret here about a pregnancy. So somebody could be unsure. Or this could be a pregnancy scare. Or somebody, there's somebody here that in massive regrets that they got somebody pregnant. So they're keeping this a secret. They're like, man, don't tell nobody that you could be pregnant or whatever. But something here about the police. Like somebody here is doing some investigation. And they fell into a trap with these drugs. A divine masculine could be in their feelings. Yeah, because I feel like something here, like when it has to do with their thug life. Thug life. I'm hearing something about thug life where they're tired of being in the streets. They're tired of being in the streets. They're tired of doing like thug shit. This, the masculine is ready like to come to the other side, pray, okay? This person could be in their feelings about their thug ways or somebody's a street ninja. You already know how they go. They're fed up of the reckless love sex. I feel like somebody here could be um, have a lot that they have to pay for. Um, there's a lot that's on the line. 
Um, yeah. Somebody does reckless, somebody has reckless sex as this is like a job or a side hustle. Now they're feeling like shit because in a reading, they got a reading and in a reading there, there were some memories of this person leaving you hanging and they're feeling like shit from this reading that they got Libra. Now they may want to reconcile, but this person, there's no closure, no contact. This person could have left you on red or you left them on red or. This person could be going through a downward spiral or something here about a spiritual awakening they could be having, going through a, um, an ego death, chaos about their divine feminine. They feel like you could be very selfish, stubborn, or arrogant, or in your pride and ego, divine feminine. I don't know. Maybe you're mirroring this to your person. They feel like you're this way, and it's like this masculine feels like you could be, it's your way or the highway. And they could be in their feelings. So I feel like somehow the roles are reversed. So you could be more in your masculine energy. And this masculine could be more in their feminine energy, in their feelings. Or you know what I mean? About a karmic lesson. They fell into a trap with some drugs. Give me doing drugs and trap, child. They trying to run. Look, divine feminine. They trying to trap divine feminine? What the hell is this? Somebody's trying to trap a divine feminine? With drugs? Because ain't no divine feminine should be under here with doing drugs. Yeah, okay, so somebody could be saying, okay, so to my divine feminine, to my Libras, somebody's saying that you live a toxic lifestyle. You do drugs, you drink. But they're really just envious because you're secure, you're confident, you're a boss. Hopefully, there ain't no divine feminists out here. Like, I mean, because if you were divine feminine, you wouldn't be out here doing no drugs or taking no pills, popping pills, or none of that. Give me divine feminine trap and doing drugs. This is a wish. This is like, man, somebody's wishing that you would be on drugs. What the fuck is this? So somebody is wishing that you would be on drugs. Somebody is wishing that you would stop taking care of yourself and that you would low vibe with them and be on drugs or do toxic shit. Or they're ashamed. What was this wish? Somebody's wishing that you would fall into a trap here as well. Or somebody feels ashamed for fucking with this Jezebel because there's legal matters here. Or this Jezebel got legal matters. Give me this wish. What is the wish? Oh, pregnancy. Somebody is wishing that their divine feminine is pregnant. Whoever this is that left you hanging and rejected you, somebody is hoping that you're pregnant. They're hoping that you were pregnant. I don't know. Or they're hoping that they were trapped. They trapped you. For some of you, this person could have possibly. All right. So say like if you did sleep with this masculine, this person possibly trapped you. And they were probably on drugs and they probably meant to trap you. They could have been wishing for a pregnancy with somebody possibly wanting a baby by you so bad, Divine Feminine. Okay? And there's someone here that's hating on your confidence. They're hating on your career or something. I don't know, man. This is kind of like twisted. It's twisted. Y'all remember that game, Twisted Metal? Man, we used to play that when I was... I miss that game. So whoever this is, they're very envious of you. They're like, oh, you're not a boss. You're not this. You're not that. Because somebody wants to sweet talk you. Or there's some type of recording here of somebody sweet talking you or trying to talk you into, I don't know. So I feel like somebody's holding a grudge on you due to a reading as well. Could be a karmic friend that's holding a grudge on you due to a reading. So if you read tarot, just know that somebody here is pissed at you because of a reading, okay? Yeah, we have bad karma. You're not getting any bad karma. The karma is in reverse. Or whoever this is, they're mad because they're going through karma. And you're not going through karma. <laughs> so they're trying to get some evidence to see like, well, you're going to be locked up, Libra. You're going to jail, but you ain't going no motherfucking where. Yeah. 
ain't nothing fake about this smile or somebody here is like there's nothing fake about your smiles i don't know why did the fake smiles come out in reverse i don't even know like um yeah, dodging bullets. I feel like you ain't faking no smiles with nobody. You dodging bullets. You getting rid of negative people. You blocking these crazy people. If anybody's going through karma, then they're going through their karma on their own. I feel like you're seeing the true colors about these energies here. What's the true colors that I want? Yeah, that you're moving on. Thank you. Next, these energies could be trying to stalk you to see when they can seduce you. It's like somebody here could be moving closer to threaten you. Anyway, what's next? We have always partying. This is the secret. Somebody likes to party or they're addicted to partying and seducing hoes or fucking on hoes and all that shit. Okay. Yeah. Somebody here, they're not stupid. I guess somebody here is not stupid. They know that they, I don't know, like, they're not dumb. All right. Anyway, what's next? What's over here? We have deep cleaning is needed. Why is the deep cleaning here? Had enough. Deep cleaning had enough. It's a masculine that feels like they're good for you. But why is this like, why is it doing drugs here with Divine Feminine? It's like, okay, so somebody's trying to paint you out to be a bad person, Divine Feminine. You over here, somebody's trying to paint you out to be a bad person. They're trying to paint you out to be dirty, um, a, 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 a thief, an idea muncher, copies your work, steals your ideas. They're trying to paint you out to be this type of person because you had enough of this masculine. So they're holding a grudge on you because you're fed up with their bullshit. <sighs> Clarify this creativity muncher. Dust it off and acting cold. Okay. Creativity muncher. Yeah, you predicted something. That these that somebody was cyberbullying or trying to cyberbully you. This is like somebody here that gets high or they get fucked up on these on these intoxins and then they come and try to judge you. We're gonna get some tarot. Because I wanna know like what what's what's really going on. I feel like somebody's trying to put some type of image on you, like, oh, you do drugs, you're a drug user, and then um they're trying to make it out to you like that you you're a bad person. All possibly due to something that you predicted. There's a masculine here that's claiming that they're good for you now. But they're trying to fuck up your reputation and ruin you. And whoever this envious person is, they're going through karma. It's a lot already, Libra, with this reading. Yeah, somebody here is burdened by a hex that they did. Somebody's home is hex, or they could have been... We have a house, and then we have hex, key, wife... This too many cards. I'm not taking this. But wherever this envious person is, it's very burdened. They're suffering. They're going through challenges. This is like a test for them. Give me more. What, what's... Yeah, because they're not re reuniting with this person. Whoever this is, somebody's not returning at all, Libra. Whoever this envious person is, they're not returning to them. They're like, no, nah, I don't want to talk to you. I'm not returning to you. Leave me the fuck alone. You go through your own karma. What's next, Believer? We have a gift. So somebody may want to come and give to you. Equal give and take something. Um, giving something. Somebody may want to come and date you or give you some type of gifts. They may want to be generous with you. But this could be someone trying to sweet talk you too. But they could be recording you. They could be recording you unbeknownst to you. To get you to take something. I'm picking up also. You may find something. This could be something unexpected. An unexpected change of events. All right. Due to you moving on. Or you seeing somebody's true colors. Something here is going to be announced. Yeah. Because I'm getting. You could have been faithful. Yeah. Something here about you being faithful, Libra. What's next? 
backstabbing. You're protected from some, yeah. I feel like your angels and your guides were protecting you from this person. So if you're not talking to anyone, you were protected from some type of betrayal. You sure was. It could have been a bad betrayal too. We have a mother, yeah. Somebody is pregnant and they're keeping it on a low. We have a thought. So somebody's thinking about you, escaping mentally, overthinking, overanalyzing, indecision, contemplation, meditate on your concerns, daydreaming, think things through. Or maybe you need to think things through here, Libra. Yeah, there's a conversation. What is this conversation about? Somebody's misfortune. Somebody's going through it here. It could be a player. This person that could be in and out. They were a thief. Yeah, somebody here could be an enemy. This could be an enemy of yours, a karmic. Yeah. What's the misfortune with this thief? Philippa. With this thief. This person's coming in. They're going to try to steal your happiness. They're going to try to steal your energy. Try to destiny swap with you. Yeah. Because they feel like you have the keys. To unlock the doors to success, to fulfill their wishes and their desires. This person sees you as divine energy. But I feel like something was a life lesson for you. Say like if you do, if you did drugs with this person, I don't know if you did. You know what I mean? Everybody got a story and you know, that's not, you know, that's not none of my business. We all did some things that we wasn't pleased with. Say if you did, you know what I'm saying? Do some things with this person maybe you stop you know what i'm saying or whatever i don't know but there's something here going on about pills i'm i'm seeing specifically pills here libra all right i don't know what are you telling me spirit guys when it comes to Libra's energy Cause I like, when I do readings, I don't need to like take a break. I need to like 22, 22. I need to get in a zone, stay in a zone and, and keep it, keep it like that. Somebody's doing magic. They could be doing this right now. Or somebody's lying on you saying that you do drugs. If you don't, don't take that, y'all. Because I know so many people are, I don't do drugs. I'm not a drug. Okay. Do not take that if it's not your story. You know what I mean? But somebody here could be lying saying that you do drugs. This envious person, they're going through karma, child. We have the will of fortune in reverse. We have the sun in reverse. So something here is not seen. Or maybe you don't know that somebody has something of yours. They have a gift of yours here. Okay, somebody could have tried to destroy this or destroy this recording or destroy some type of tape or something like that. This could be evidence that somebody could have been trying to destroy. With the sun card, somebody here is not happy. It could be a Leo, okay? We have the king of pentacles here in reverse. They become, that's coming in with a fake-ass apology. With the page of cups, this person is very promiscuous. I feel like... They, this Whoever this king of pentacles is, is nosy as hell. They're coming in to try to get all the tea. And they're coming in to try to, like, um li literally, like, block you from your manifestations or block you from getting some type of good news as well in earthly matters. This person, they could be very promiscuous as well. And they want to surprise you or show up unannounced. They better get the hell on somewhere. The chariot. The Eight of Swords. The Five of Pentacles. And so either you ghosted someone or someone ghosted you and you refused not to work with this person because they were reckless with the Fool card. This is this could be someone here making reckless decisions and they could be going through some type of misfortune or setbacks from it. But with Divine Feminine Energy here, What's the creativity muncher? Clarify the creativity muncher, please. Clarify the creativity muncher. Nine of Wands, Sagittarius energy. 
Or this could be someone here that's very much irritated with you. Somebody's irritated with you. What's the nine of wands? Because they love you. Or they're in love with you. Or they're irritated because you get new love. Or you get this ace of cups. Somebody's doing a love spell. Whoever this is, that's the creativity mantra is the one that's doing a love spell and they're under heavy, harsh judgment in reverse. <laughs> that's all I got to say. Anyway, what's the will of fortune in reverse? This karmic is getting, yeah, it's a Leo. That's envious of you or somebody with Leo placements or maybe somebody's mad because you're holding back. Okay, but they're on the bad side of the wheel right now. Why are they on the bad side of the wheel, Libra? I don't know. I don't think you give a fuck. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. Something here about a burden they were supposed to drop. The Ten of Wands is like something about instrumental, insurmountable problems. So, yeah. This is like a bad turn of events. Maybe somebody's trying to hold back from dropping some type of dead weight or... They're trying to hold back from either dropping this burden somebody doesn't want to force something so they're like i'm just gonna fall back i'm not gonna force it or whatever this is sagittarius leo energy what is the ten of wands in reverse the death card something is over there are some changes here happening The death in a hermit is usually like somebody's like hidden helpers too with the moon. Scorpio energy, we have Virgo energy. So I'm picking up somebody has with this energy somebody here is ending something or they're changing something because they lost their way so they feel like they have to leave something alone they have to resign let it go or they have to isolate this could be some type of ice uh self-isolation here maybe having a um they could be paranoid whoever this is they could be paranoid so this is why they're dropping something and they're giving up because they know they're on the bad side of the wheel i remember i said in the beginning somebody they looked at a reading or they found out that they are going through they probably could have found out that they were going through karma from listening to a reading here so now they could be getting paranoid now they're slowing things down or they may want to be more methodical because something was picked up possibly in a, in a tarot reading yeah so i'm picking up somebody wants to change something or they want to like end something or this could be the end of a cycle here possibly with this envious person what's the sun in reverse so whoever this emperor is, they're unhappy. They're not happy about something. Why? What's the emperor? This could be a manager, a boss, a CEO. All right. This emperor is not happy about something. They're not happy that somebody wants to reconcile or they want to come towards you. Or they don't want to play no mind games. Whoever this is, they're not happy. I don't know if it's this emperor that's like this, but it could be a Leo that's not happy that an emperor wants to come towards you and reconcile, or they want to find peace. What's the five of swords? Or it could be an Aquarius. What's the five of swords and the emperor? This could be the father of your kids. The six of swords, there's trouble coming out about someone having to move the four of wands because they picked a false lover, a false twin flame with the lover's card. They're under judgment from having a one night stand or going towards someone possibly to attack you. Yeah, the ten of pentacles. This is someone here that's losing everything with the ten of pentacles in reverse. They could be losing businesses. Um, their wealth is like taking a toll. Whatever they have established or whatever they have built is all crumbling down. So the Six of Swords could be some unfinished business here with the lover, with the false twin flame, with the karmic energy. I'm picking up somebody here possibly could have been blackmailing somebody with this recording too here as well. They're like, hmm, well, I'm going to give this gift to this person. 
because you want to reconcile and show them this recording but maybe the, the unfinished business is someone going to destroy the recording i don't know whatever this is but they're going back someone here that maliciously gossiped about you talked about you or said something evil about you or this could be this energy not following a call and so they're being punished it could be um this emperor could be conceited as fuck but with the four of wands in reverse, this is like usually like somebody made, there's a, there's a cancel celebration here. And I feel like you're not letting this emperor come in and sweet talk you. They made a wrong choice in love and now they're trying to come back to you. So this could be unfinished business. This person like is... <sighs> They're going back to, I don't know, what's the Six of Swords in reverse? Somebody here is chaotic, the Three of Wands. They're going back to waiting or waiting for their ships to come in. You could be dealing with a Aquarius, an Aries, a Gemini, or a Leo. This could be something, trouble heading somebody's way. This could be like trouble heading your way. Maybe you see this coming because you have foresight and you know this is coming. You're like, okay, I'm just going to sit here and wait. Yeah, because the three of wands is like you know in the future. You see the future, you're looking to the sun. Or you could be waiting for your ships to come in because this, I don't know, this is some type of trouble. I don't know. But because you took your power back, that's what I'm getting. What is the trouble that's supposed to be coming your way, though? That's what I'm trying to figure out. The Four of Swords, you being restless. The Ace of Pentacles, you, an opportunity. The Page of Wands in reverse. The Ten of Cups. So is this someone family coming towards you? Or someone here that broke up with their lover? They're coming towards you. For some reason. Whoever them broke up with their lover. Or whoever them ditched their lover or whatever. They may be coming towards you. Don't know why. Maybe you expect this person. Maybe you know this person is coming. Like I said, it could be an Aquarius that's coming towards you, a Gemini, an Aries. Um, a, uh, did I say Aquarius or a Leo? Who is this person coming towards my Libras? Who is this person coming towards my... It could be a Sagittarius. Who is the person coming towards my uh, Libras? Who is this? This could be your soulmate. So somebody here is coming towards you because they feel like y'all have unfinished business, Libra. This person, they're still in love with you. They still want to make this work. They know they chose wrong in love. They're expecting you to wait for them. That's what I'm getting. This person's unhappy without you. And they expect you to wait for them. Mm -hmm. They're like, Libra, wait for me. I'm coming. I'm coming to get you. That's what I'm hearing. They got to finish out this karma, though. This person's trying to come back Um. Maybe they're trying to come back right, okay? Maybe they want to do everything the right way. The Seven of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, they possibly want to come and tell you the truth about some type of betrayal. So it's like somebody could be get, um, whew, let me calm down. This person could be, burning their evidence or getting rid of their involvement inside, um, with this, whatever they did to you. They could be trying to come and sweet talk you to let you know that I wasn't involved in that. Yeah, whatever whatever it was. They may be trying to come and um, emotionally manipulate you. I'm not sure. Or it's this king of pentacles that could be emotionally manipulating you. Why is the two of cups coming towards you? They feel like y'all have some unfinished business with this connection or whatever. Why is the Two of Cups? Why is this person coming towards you with the Two of Cups? Because they see you as the Empress, just period. And they want a new opportunity with you. And they want you to stop fucking ignoring them, they said. Stop ignoring me. <laughs> Open up to... <laughs> They're happy with you. They want you to stop ignoring them. Mm-hmm. They do. Give me the empress. This person knows that you're abundant and, and nurturing here. But I feel like they feel like you're a little bit emotionally immature. Or you could be immature for blocking them. The seven of wands. They're like, man, you immature as hell for blocking me. You ain't even have to do that. Mm-hmm. I just feel like this person could be insecure. 
I don't know. Because it's like you're not letting them sweet talk you. I feel like you're not insecure. You're not emotionally immature. You're just not about to let this person play with you. Yeah. But they're unhappy without you. They see you as a healer, as a star. What's the Page of Cups? And I feel like there could be this Taurus here that could be the one that's emotionally manipulative, planning to come and use you. I feel like this person may want to come and date you, romance you, use you. This could be someone here that's cheating on their wife, okay? This person could be coming in with some type of phony love offer. Or this Empress here, maybe somebody feels like you gave them a fake apology. What's the Page of Cups in it? Um... Yeah, a lot of communication coming with this King of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like this person wants to move fast with you. And they're promiscuous. Hell no. Give me this Eight of Wands. Yeah, this person could be like writing you a whole bunch of love letters, love messages, emails, text messages. I'm thinking of you. I love you, Libra. I want to, you know, but they're a user. And I feel like you already know how this person is. You already know their true colors. Let me see. Don't want to hear it. I feel like you are hearing it. You are listening to this person try to emotionally manipulate you because you already know them deep down, the high priestess. I feel like you just, you're quiet and you're listening to this energy. Whoever this is, male or female, doesn't matter. This could be an ex-lover. You already know this person. You already know who this is, who I'm talking about. This person that was slow moving, very superficial, unstable. They're feeling stuck and bored in their life. Give me this chariot. Yeah, you're moving forward. The queen of cups. This could be a cancer energy. Okay. That possibly backstabbed you. Or you were very intuitive. Or you know that this, this queen of cups possibly backstabbed you. They probably did. They probably came towards you in their vehicle. Or they probably drove towards you. What's the chariot with the Queen of Cups? So if somebody here was in their car or they did something to your car, the Queen of Pentacles, a Cancer and a Capricorn, they could be planning to come towards you. What's this? Why are they coming to you for? The Six of Cups. Something here about them living in the past. It's not over. The Death card in reverse. All right. About some type of betrayal or something ending abruptly here. This person could be, they could be both doing curses and shit together. This Capricorn and this Cancer. They're doing curses to end some type of cycle between you and somebody else. Dark magic, the page of pentacles, their divination spine here like crazy. <laughs> I feel like you don't have no good memories with these energies. Could be um this could be a baby mother. Um this could be um your aunties, your mother, your uncle, I mean, your auntie, your uncle, whoever in this Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles energy, but this is like feminine energy, okay? Maybe you could be forgiving these energies, okay? Or you're protected, or your guys are saying that you're protected from these people. They could be keeping a secret about backstabbing you. Yeah, give me the secret here. This, this energy is keeping a secret about backstabbing you. Now they want to come out and be, they want to make amends. They possibly want your forgiveness because now they could be taking a fall from grace. It's Capricorn, it's Cancer, or Scorpio. They could be taking a fall from grace. Yeah, something here is not working out. Their plans are not working out or whatever they try to plan for you, Libra, is not working out. So now they want to make amends. They're like, man, can you forgive me, Libra? Like, yeah, because they know a King of Wands wants to take action. So it's like, yeah, what's the Five of Swords in reverse? Yep, they're Nine of Swords. They're guilty. What are they guilty of? Because I just love, I, I love trying to find out what people are guilty of. The Seven of Swords, they did something and got caught in the act. It's a Capricorn and a Cancer. Maybe they want to come clean and they could be rethinking their approach. Their conscience is kicking in about backstabbing you. Okay. Yeah, these energies could have been, okay, so I feel like these energies have to pay out. They could be overspending. Because I feel like the truth, the will of fortune is still going in your favor with the sun card. Or somebody has the truth about your destiny. Or they know your birth chart. They think they know your birth chart. I feel like you expose some type of truth here with the queen of swords and you have these people looking bad. They looking real bad right now. They're in regret, they're, they're failures, they're disappointment. These energies are like lost.
What's the problem with this Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups when it comes to Libra? What's their problem with you? Yeah, because they lost their job or their reputation. These energies are uninspired. Yeah. They don't have no motivation. And they came out together. They both could have lost their job from trying to backstab you or do something malicious to you. <sighs> they sure could have. And that's the truth. Ace of Swords. What's the Eight of Swords in reverse with the mother, the pregnancy test, and the secrets here? We have the Five of Cups, somebody, the Scorpio. Somebody regrets doing something or they regret, um, yeah, because this, this is a, a contract that's not over. Somebody regrets resisting a change. Scorpio energy heavy and we have Aries. Whoever this emperor is, they possibly did this to control someone or they tried to get you pregnant to control you. The emperor and the devil. This person has real, like, their addictions is, like, controlling or they want to be seen as respected or a leader or they want power and domination over you. They want to be really, really seen as a leader or a boss or th they're very controlling. Give me the death card in reverse. So somebody here is, like, not trying to transform or change. What's the death? The page of cups. One has to do with an apology. This could be somebody here that's pregnant that's still on the fuck sheet. Yeah, somebody here could be pregnant, still on fuck sheet, or still like doing childish stuff. Mm-hmm. Give me divine feminine over here. Yeah. I feel like there's a Gemini that wants to come towards you, divine feminine. This person could be ready to take action to you and just show up with a fucking lie or to cause confusion with you. This could be confusion about a tower. Mm-hmm. What's this? Or about something being exposed. This person's coming to you just to cloud your judgment. They're coming to you just to cause confusion and stress. So protect your energy at all costs. What's the Ace of Swords? This Knight of Swords? Yeah, the Page of Wands. I feel like it's due to you getting good news. Or this person may feel like you're naive. Or this part, they could be lying about getting good news. Somebody's like literally coming to you to try to say, oh, everything's been good in my life. I've been getting good news. I've been getting stuff like left and right. It's a lie. This person's been juggling their resources. They've been trying to get balanced with the Two of Pentacles. They're literally coming to you to tell you that they're not in any chaos or that everything is going good in my life. No, it's not. This person has been doing drugs. And they possibly want you to fall into this trap of doing drugs with their ass because you predicted something with this energy. Look, there's a lot of chaos in their life. And they're going to come to you lying like their life is just so peaceful. No, it's not. No, it's not. They're going to come and try to defend a lie as well. No, it's not. That, nope. Mm -mm. The queen of wands. Yep, they're going to lie and say they wasn't sleeping around with this whore. They wasn't doing magic with this whore when it came to you, whoever this fire sign is. They're going to lie. I'm picking up also, this is an energy like straight going to somebody's like, <laughs> you dealing with someone that would like literally just volunteer a lie. So like they would go over to somebody's house like, man, let me tell you about so-and-so, man. And it's a whole fucking lie. They will volunteer chaos. They will volunteer confusion. Somebody, they, they love, child. I, this reading, I just don't know. My words is just like, Libra, I can't even tell you. But this is an energy that will volunteer and say like, man, they, they're naive or they're, they're, they're they're out there like oh my goodness you don't want to talk to that person i'm trying to help you out yeah they be on them drugs they be doing everything but this is the same person that want to wish a pregnancy like they they wanted to have a baby with you but they telling all these other energies like man that person they they got stds 
they insecure, they're jealous, man. This person's aggressive, they're demanding. They go and volunteer. It's like they go over everybody else's house just to lie about you. So you're the topic of discussion at everybody else's house. So they're lying, saying that you a hoe. This could have been exposed. A king of cups could have did this. Or you could have exposed the king of cups. Or you could have checked this person like, what's up with all, all this? You saying that I'm a hoe and I'm this. And like, why are, you, why are you saying shit like that? I feel like somebody just doesn't want you to move on. Or they don't want you to leave them. They want a ten of pentacles with you. They want longevity, wealth with you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All because they hate you. So this is like them making up a lie on you or talking about your unmentionables because they hate that you're the empress. Okay. Or somebody just hates that. You're nurturing and you're beautiful. So they want to discriminate against you. What's the five of swords? The queen of cups. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you it's a cancer. So this cancer could have been making up so many lies on you, but all these lies is going back to them. Not everybody looking at this cancer like that. They're like, nah, you up here lying saying that this person was this, but why, why is everything slowing down in your life? This could be a cancer or a Sagittarius, or this could be a water sign. Everybody's looking at this energy like, nah, you said that this person was this and this person was that, but why is everything slowing down in your life, but things are moving forward in Libra's life? Because you have the Empress and the Eight of Wands right here. Everything is moving fast in your life. You're progressing. Everything is moving fast with speed. I'm talking about expeditiously. And then with this person, they're going through a backfire. So how is things like this? It just doesn't add up. How are you still moving forward? How are you still being abundant? How are you still like how? How are you still growing, being creative? If you were the one doing all this shit being selfish, doing dark magic, or you know what I mean? How is things still growing for you? It's just not conducive. They're really going towards these energies and volunteering a lie about you, saying that you are the queen of wands in reverse. You are a home wrecker. You are the one that's interfering in their relationship or whatever the fuck relationship they think they got. How are you interfering in somebody else's relationship? I feel like this energy just, they just need to give it up. They're exposed. Okay, they may have to move. They could be arguing. There's a lot of misunderstandings here because they have to transition and move. This person cannot communicate. They communicate poorly. This person has a lack of motivation. Whoever this is, that lied on you. They do. Lack of motivation, the tower, and they're both karmic. So it's the karmic dealing with another karmic. Both manipulative, both moody, and both toxic. And they're both the same. Karmic soulmates, karmic twin flames. They're both karmic for each other and like i'm talking about karmic in a bad way like that type of way like jealous and practicing in the dark arts envious hateful petty this queen of cups wants to win at all costs but they can't because whatever they done sent you is going back to them with the eight of wands in reverse i'm trying to tell you look they done got caught trying to be clever and sneaky mm, what's the eight of wands queen of cups this insecure person just will not leave you alone. And they may want to come in with an offer. What is this offer, child? This could be an offer to, yeah. Okay, so they could be going towards an offer. They could be going to this Hierophant energy with an offer. This could be a government entity with an offer. What's this Knight of Cups and the Hierophant? See, here we go, the sun. But they're not going to be happy. They're not going to get what they want, the sun in reverse, because I feel like these energies is going to turn them down. Maybe they're, this Queen of Cups is going to this Hierophant energy because they're going through some temporary struggles now. They're going to feel played by their friend. Their friends is gossiping about them. Their friends are going to reject them and betray them. And this is what happens when you try to hurt someone. So what was done to you, Libra, say if this person tried to hurt you with a lie, they're going to be hurt with the truth. Just simple. So they got cheated on or somebody cheated on them with their friend. And this is why they could be sad. So they're taking it out on you because their karmic masculine fucked on their friend or their fake friend behind their back, cheated on them, and they're blaming you for it. Okay. And you just over here recovering. Ten of swords in reverse. You're recovering. Lifting curses. Doing all types of shit. 
lifting curses from these warlocks. It, you, you just over here just recovering, healing, growing, evolving. And this energy is over here lying, spreading lies because they lost out on a big opportunity or they're losing. They're losing everything. House, cars, everything. They're losing everything. They shouldn't came for you. You're just in peaceful energy. My tensions are ill towards you. Look at this. I'm trying to tell you. They were dealing with a wounded masculine. This could be a father figure. Their intentions were ill towards you. A wounded masculine that's controlling, abusive, aggressive, withdraws. They're unstable and they're too competitive. This wounded masculine could be sexually frustrated. Look. You see what I'm saying? I'm picking up. You could have been. I fight over men because I'm washed up. I'm getting this queen of cups. Could have tried to set you up to be heard. This person possibly got short locks, or they possibly got them some starter locks. And they possibly in love with you. It could be a karmic or a false twin. Thursday. You're the one that got away. Me and this third party still arguing about you. And you're nowhere around. You two were meant to be together and live a happy life in divine time. And I'm getting that's why they arguing with this person. Because they know that this person is your, your masculine. And y'all supposed to be together in divine timing when they get that sh together. And don't know karmic like hearing that. that. A karmic doesn't like hearing that they are karmic. They don't. But we all have been karmic before. I was karmic in my past. And I had to awaken. And I had to get it together. I ignored my awakening in 2015. So in 2018, that's when it was really, really harsh. I was supposed to then have my awakening in 2015, Libra. It was supposed to be came and it's like, you know how you get that rush when you feel it like, man, something here is coming over me and I can't explain it. That was when I was supposed to have my awakening. This karma could get could be getting tarot readings on you. I can't believe you're really leaving me. Car theft or accident. So somebody could be trying to steal your car. They could be having people snooping around your car. They could be trying to have you to have a car accident, Libra. Yeah. A bully. They're mad. Something here about Thursday. W, X, Y, and Z. Blood sucking leechers. These are bottom feeder energies. You're the one that got away. You They underestimated a divine one. You're logical, honest, loyal, and practical. I want to make up for lost time. Here's the keys. Somebody wants to buy you a home, car, or, or whatever this is they want to buy you. I'll be watching your finance online, and so does the karmics. I'm trying to tell you, and they doing kitchen magic too. The masculine knows these people ain't shit, but continues to deal with them. So that will make this masculine not shit too, because they still deal with it. They continue to deal with it. These energies could be plotting. So you know what I mean? You know, if you if you got the right to bear arms, which you know, whatever state that you live in, and if you got the right to bear arms, handle your business. 5 p.m. 7 p.m. One month from now, your sister is karmic and secretly hates you. Possibly fantasizes Sagittarius. Could be involved. Three years, four years, two months. Archangel Michael is whooping ass and taking names. So these energies are not going to be able to get close to you. We have Oklahoma, Arizona, Alabama, Arkansas. New York, New Orleans, wants you to be a part of the fuck shack, Dirty Mike and the boys, karmic baby, a karmic child, something here, this could be a karmic child that's due in March. Ooh, child. So somebody's having a Pisces or Aries baby, April, Gemini, a cheater. <laughs> that D ain't hitting for shit anymore. Aquarius. <laughs> All right. Something about Section 8. Some of y'all, y'all about to get approved for Section 8. We have um, eight years. Four years. Yeah, okay. They underestimated you, underestimated you Divine Feminine. I don't know, man. I think that's it. Let me see if any more 
Let's see. Give me this. Uh, let's see. Since this Queen of Cups want to lie on you and say you're a home worker. Let's see. What's going on with this um, water sign and why they lie on you like that? Hold on. I'm missing some. Um, I'm missing a deck. Why they lie on you like that? Libra. Why they send you negative energy like that? Why does water sign do this? Causing you to lose your appetite. So if you're curvy, this person doesn't like that you're curvy or you're voluptuous or you got ass, titties, thighs, and all of that. Maybe you got poop or two, but they don't like that. Possess an amulet and have it blessed with protection. Because this person could be taking, snapping pictures of you. They could be doing kitchen magic. You're secretly jealous and hating on your romantic relationship. They can't stand to see you shine. They talk about you behind your back. So this could have been a fake-ass friend of yours. Keep a protection pouch on you. Yeah, this person's doing heavy. Like, this person's trying to get you. Be air, be be aware of anyone from the past wanting to enter back into your life. This this could be somebody here with Sagittarius placements that could be like wanting to like yeah. Give me the, mm -mm. I feel like you're gonna witness their karma anyway. What does Emperor want with you? Since spread yeah, this Emperor could have been spreading rumors about you. Now they could have been trying to claim credit over your success. They could be a fake spiritualist. Child, boo. <laughs> the person causing you negativity is an earth sign with a blocked heart chakra. Issues, intentions, affection, balance, beauty, compassion, empathy, healing, love, mindfulness, nurture, relationships. So, so this person could be an earth sign. What's up with this king of pentacles in reverse? They're their own worst enemy. You cause most of your problems or most of the bad things that happen to yourself. A black obsidian, yeah. This person, you need some black obsidian. Carries a calming and positive energy that can help you remember to look on the bright side of things. This person could be trying to do some dark magic on you as well. Give me the king of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they're a fake spiritualist. And they're toxic. Don't drink with this person. If you got a tiger's eye, wear it around now. They probably, I'm trying to tell you, they're trying to hex you. They're trying to hex your finances, but this return to them. This is they're, they're trying to cause chaos and fights in your love connections because they can't use you. And if they've been making statuses or hate tweets, it's towards you. Hater. They're trying to do root work. And they're recruiting haters to see if they could do root work on you, Libra. This is like the pettiest reading ever, bro. Like, why these people can't just leave you the fuck alone? Like, it's just so petty to me. Like, what do you want? God, hey, like these energies is mad because they can't shine. They mad because they karmic. They can't get ahead in life. And you got this fake ass emperor over here that could be spreading rumors about you. Like, man, like, don't nobody want to come to your face and, and do and speak to you directly. People want to do shit behind your back. Like some hating ass bitches. But anyway, Libra, that was your reading. I know I made it long. It, the energy is kind of irritating. <laughs> that was your reading. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn your notification bell on. You're protected though, Libra. I ain't even don't even worry about it. Just pay attention to your surroundings. If you see anything like weird going on, you know what I mean? I just pay attention. Okay, either somebody's trying to make you have a car accident or they're trying to steal your car or steal your vehicle. They're trying to do something weird. That was your reading. Bye.